All right, today we're gonna talk carburetors versus EFI and which is best for you. All right, so one question we have very commonly is, should I fuel inject my car from a carburetor? And we have done a ton of fuel injection swaps, um, and we're just gonna talk through some of the complexities, uh, the pros and cons, and really what makes a carburetor versus a throttle body injection versus a multi-port fuel injection right for you and your application. So first we'll start with the, we'll not call it antiquated, but with the, the carburetor. There's a lot of people that run these. I have personal cars still that have uh, carburetor small blocks and so forth. Um, so we'll start with that. So here you can see the typical, this is a Performer Series, Edelbrock carburetor. And actually we removed this from a project vehicle that we did a throttle body EFI swap to. Stood the test of time and they're somewhat based off the old Carter style uh, four wheel carburetors. We've run, I've run plenty of these on cars. There have been tens of thousands of these put on hot rods, street rods, muscle cars throughout the years. And they do a really good job from a street performance carburetor as far as bolted on, adjust the idle mixture screws, which are right here, and really be able to just take off and drive. That is, uh, you know, the price point on these carburetors is somewhere around four or fifty, five hundred dollars um, You can see this is a manual choke carburetor, so it's a little bit less. So there's a cable actually that runs through the choke and pulls it from the inside of the car to choke it or not. Very simple, but very durable, runs really well. Here you see like a 4150 style, poly style carburetor. Again, a four barrel. This one you can see has a dual inlet right here. So a single fuel line comes up from the fuel pump and goes into the carburetor itself. Again, this style carburetor has been around for a long time. This is more, I would say, of a performance-based carburetor versus the street carburetor of an Elderbrock. Again, we've used both. I have found that these carburetors, because you can tweak and tune them a little more, um, there's all kinds of aftermarket parts out here, and there, a lot of them are somewhat universal for the 4150 style car, whether it be from Holly or Quick Fuel, et cetera. But you do need to tune these a little more to get the best drivability. So a lot of times you may have some flat spots and so forth straight out of the box versus an Edelbrock where we had a little more luck just like I said setting the idle and going. This you can tell is what they call an electric choke. So right here it has a power wire going to this and instead of having a cable that pulls from the inside it says automatic so based on the ambient temperature outside the temperature of the engine this chokes it accordingly and you can adjust that by turning this clockwise or counterclockwise. We've run a ton of carburetors on a ton of different engine combinations. Um, you know, people run them on small blocks, big blocks, Ford, Mopar, Chevrolet. I've seen LS's carbureted. Um, so there's nothing really wrong with a carburetor. You just have to know that it has certain things about it, such as it's gonna have to be choked. It's gonna be cold natured. If you do a drastic elevation change, if there's a drastic weather change, you know, there may need to be some tuning on that to get these where they are running optimally. But again, Edelbrock Performance Series, uh, these street carburetors are great. The Holly style 4150s are also great carburetors. But for those folks that don't wanna choke them and don't wanna have to sit there and wait and let them warm up, don't have to tweak on them here and there, maybe a carburetor is not your best bet. So we'll move on to the next thing, which is a throttle body fuel injection system. So these have come a long way since the, I guess the late 80s, early 90s um, throttle bodies. Inherently, they're still some of the same design. As you can tell, it looks very similar to a carburetor. Um, for those people that kind of want the carbureted look and the simple uh, intake look. So these might be the best bet. You can get these in black finish, shiny finish, and like the holly gold finish for the, depending on what look you want. And again, this is all there is to it. So you can see this flange, just like a square bar flange on a carburetor, and you take your carburetor off your intake manifold and you literally bolt this on in place. The computer is self-contained here. The only difference would be fuel system. So you're gonna have to have a high pressure fuel system with a regulator, um, so for electric fuel pump. But other than that, this is a self-contained unit, drops right on your intake manifold. Atomization of fuel is normally a little better than a carburetor. And then obviously, you know, you have the um, IAC and whatnot so that you don't choke these. There's no choke lever you pull or anything like that. It's automatic and it's based on the parameters that are input into the computer. And the great thing about these are that they are self-learning so that the more you drive this thing, the more you let it run, the more data points it has, a larger sample size, it actually learns and tweaks some of its parameters to make this run more efficiently on its own. The only other thing you have to add to this is an O2 sensor into your exhaust, one bank, and then there's a coolant temperature sensor that goes into your intake manifold or cylinder head so that this knows 
um, what temperature that the, uh, the engine is running and can adjust its um, timing and um, fuel parameters accordingly. Again, these are really nice. Even your air cleaner will bulk right on top of this from your carburetor. If you want to step up to the Sniper 2 throttle body system, that's probably going to be somewhere around $1,300. Um, and then here in the middle, you can see we have ignition system components, which we'll talk about for both of these. So distributor, ignition box, and ignition coil. The other great thing about this system and this system, which we'll talk about here in a minute, is that you do have time and control. Whereas a carburetor system, the carburetor and the ignition are somewhat independent, right? So you set your carburetor and then you set your timing with the distributor and then you roll. This actually does connect and interface with distributor, ignition box, and ignition coil so that you can go in and program your timing curve, how much total timing you want, etc. So that's a really nice function that both of these have and it makes it run a little cleaner, run a little easier startup, cold starts, that kind of thing. So again, we've got carburetor, we've got throttle body injection, and then now we have multi-port fuel injection. So this is um, for actually for a small block Chevrolet, but most of your newer cars, all the LSs, you know, they come with a multi-port injection. And now even some of the new, new engines have a direct port injection. The great thing about this versus this is that you have better fuel atomization because you have one injector per cylinder in each bank, right? So this injector is shooting fuel directly into the cylinder head, essentially, where the throttle body that sits on top right here, all it does is it lets air in and then the fuel injectors do their job. It's much better because you have one per cylinder, it's right there, isolated, versus your fuel injectors on the throttle body system are here. So it atomizes the fuel and air right here below the throttle body where it goes into the intake manifold. Again, these are a little more complex and obviously they're a little more expensive. For the multi-port fuel injection system, such as what we have here with the intake manifold, fuel rails, throttle body, et cetera, that's gonna be roughly around $2,800 to $3,000. Um, so it depends on your application. Is this right for you? Is this right for you or this? These are more, I would say, a performance base. You can tweak them more. Um, there's more tunability in the actual controller, which is right here, the Terminator X is what we're using on this. It's a, it's a better system. It runs better. The only drawback to, as we talked about um, from an aesthetic, is that you have fuel rails, one on each side, there's a crossover that goes here, and then you have external fuel injectors, which you see. Some people like that look, especially on like a high performance or more of a resto mod car. That's the kind of look people are going for, and it's the same, you know, the LSs have the same fuel rails and whatnot. But if you're wanting to dress up a small block to look more old school, more vintage, um, this might be a better bet for the aesthetics. And then obviously the performance side would be the multi-port over the throttle body. This is more for a moderately hopped up engine. Um, these will get even more tunability, more horsepower out of that. Again, you've got the throttle body here that sets on top of the intake and all it does is it lets air in. That's all it does. There's no fuel that comes through this at all. Special intake manifold, so drilled for injectors. This is for a small block Chevrolet. And then you've got the engine controller, which is a Holley Terminator X right there. Based on the application, it's kind of going to be up to you what your budget is, how much you spend, and then kind of how much tunability and drivability you want out of the system. Whether it be an old carburetor, a newer throttle body system, or a multi-port fuel injection system, there's, a, there's definitely something for you in your application. You've got to figure out where your budget puts you and how you want this thing to drive. Um, as far as brands, you know, you have the Edelbrock carburetors, you've got Brawler, you've got Holly, you've got Quick Fuel. There's a ton of different carburetor brands out there. We mainly run here the Holly and Edelbrocks. We've had good luck out of them, so that's just what we've stuck with. The throttle body system, it seems like there's, you've got Holly, which we use, there's Fitech, there's uh, MSD, there's Fast, so a ton of different manufacturers that make these units as well. Same with the, the ignition systems. You just want to try to get something that works together, right? And that's why we use the Holly is that this system will work with the Sniper 2 throttle body, or we can get it to work with the multi-port system with the Terminator X. And just, again, depends on what you want to look like, what your budget looks like, and how you want it to drive. So this quick snapshot of some of the different fuel injection and carburetor systems we use here. Thanks for joining. I know there's a lot of complexities here, a lot of differences. Um, so if you need any sales help or you would like for us to get you in a new system, contact us here by phone or here by email. Hopefully we'll have more content for you soon. Make sure to check out our other videos and uh, we'll see you soon.